so that's what happened on the night of the 7th. It was a difficult operation. I see. They're getting tougher. But it's not all bad news. I called today's meeting because... I'm sorry. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Mitsuru-senpai something. Me? Since I've joined, so many things have happened. I went along with it without really understanding what was going on. But now, I need to know. I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, senpai? You act like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour and Tartarus. But they're related to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan! There was an explosion near our school, and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But, around the same time, a large number of students were recorded as absent. Seems like more than just a coincidence. What do you mean? I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. The students who were absent, they all collapsed suddenly and had to be hospitalized. Sound familiar? You know, like the girls who bullied Fuka. <laughs> there has to be an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you must know something. Tell me the truth! I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant, but... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you the whole story. The shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates that they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies. But what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They would be a source of unimaginable power, wouldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group. Koetsu Kirijo. My grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power for something extraordinary. Like what? He assembled a team of top scientists, and over several years, he put together an impressive collection of shadows. He what? Damn, that's freaking crazy! However, ten years ago, during the final stages of the experiment, they lost control of the shadows' power, and in the process, the very nature of the world was altered. Oh my, do you mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. <sighs> By their account, the mass of shadows they collected split into several large ones that then dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Is that why they've appeared in different places? Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? <gasps> Don't tell me. That's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Then... Those students who were hospitalized. I'm afraid it's just as you're thinking. Port Island must have been an ideal location for them. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could do as they pleased. As you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekukan High School. Does that mean all we've been doing is cleaning up their mess? You lied to us? You knew, too. Didn't you, Senpai? They've just been using us! Or do you not care as long as you get to fight? I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like. It was my decision not to share that information. I'm sorry. I never intended to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. As absurd as it may seem, only we, with our personas, can fight the shadows. How could you? Besides, some of us were never given a choice. I... Mitsuru, don't. Yukari, it's those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But... <sighs> it's been ten years since that incident. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But since they're active, at least we can find and destroy them. Do you realize what this means? What if I told you that those twelve shadows are the cause of everything? Then if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See, it's good news, isn't it? Is that true? 
there's evidence to support it. Now, our true battle begins. I see. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to just wait for them. Indeed. And there are many mysteries still surrounding Tartarus. Why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answer must lie within it. Hmm. Nothing to do as usual, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Why are you here? If you came here to try and convince me, then forget it. It's nothing like that. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Huh? We've known each other for a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other friends. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. So obviously, there's something on your mind. <laughs> I do reminisce sometimes. But what's the point? <laughs> anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit. Yeah. To be honest, all I've been thinking about lately is getting stronger. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting, huh? That's different for every person. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit, like I did. I'm not like you. Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. Well, see you around. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? Oh, please come in. Not only do you excel at providing support during battle, but also at obtaining information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have a special favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. But very little was made public. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean, hack into their system? That's illegal! I'll give you my ID and password. You'll be free from accountability. I want to know the truth. In detail. Senpai. Of course. I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi. Aren't you resentful? After all, despite my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. Certainly, you must be a little angry with me. Not really. You see, my parents have an inferiority complex because all my relatives are doctors. That's why they're so tough on me. It's really hard for me to be at home. But here, I feel important, and I can help you and the others. So why should I be angry? You're right, Yamagishi. We do need you. No one can take your place. Uh, um... Thank you. I'll see you later.
So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will be gone, huh? That's good. That's what we've been fighting for. So why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Seriously. But at least we're seniors now. We won't be wearing these stupid uniforms much longer. Yeah, I've had enough of this. I just want to get accepted to college and start having some fun. <laughs> I know why. I'm the reason. I was like, fighting is my duty, but hell, it's all I'm good for. If it weren't for that, I'd be worthless. <laughs> my duty. What a bunch of bullshit. Even when it comes to fighting, she's just on another level. Damn it. Nothing I do is good enough. <sighs> Seems like my worst fears keep coming true. Am I stupid to believe in things like trust and friendship? Dad, this old letter of yours. I must have read it a thousand times since it came last spring. March 6th, 2000. To my family. Tomorrow I bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It'll be stored in a time capsule and sent to you ten years from now. Yukari. You're so small right now, but in 10 years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. <sighs> I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you still always greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Karijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon, and I'm happy to be receiving so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you, that nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Dad. Yukari, are you remembering to enjoy life? Are you still bright-eyed and hopeful like you are now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. Well, I hope this letter brings a smile to your face. Love, Dad. No matter what happens, huh? I can't lose hope. For his sake, I won't turn my back. I won't be like Mom, not ever. your day.
good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So, how's life as a Persona user? Oh, that's good to hear. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all goes back to an occurrence that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Hey, didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? A Persona is like a mirror. Which means, a Persona user can never escape from his true self. Regardless, I will stay with you. Because we're friends. Good night. What's wrong, everyone? Are you guys hungry? Mm, not really. Um, you know, it's almost summer break. Do you have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, babes in bikinis. Man, it sure would be nice. Somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But first, we have exams to worry about. Ugh. What a drag. Now, now, you'll be fine. But yeah, I'd love to go somewhere famous for its beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Mitsuru, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He will. You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and pay him a surprise visit? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beach babes, here I come! Ugh, men. <laughs> How about it, Mitsuru? But my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> don't worry. No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. 
You deserve to relax for a while. We already know when the next operation will be, so it should be fine. I don't know. Senpai, I'm begging you. <sighs> All right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. Woohoo! Ah, the beach. I should design a special training regimen. Dude, I am stoked! I have to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got an extra pair you can borrow. Nice try, man. Are you going to swim too, Ikutsuki-san? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. <laughs> Whoa, was that a joke? Of course it was. Mitsuru Senpai, wait! Uh, sorry about the other day. I got a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident is still alive. But, in reality, there is one witness who survived. There is? My father. <sighs> Senpai. Baby, the dark days of testing are finally over. The sun is shining bright. So, how'd you do? Hey, check it out. I aced PE. Well, that pretty much answers the question. <laughs> A real man doesn't dwell on the past. I'm thinking ahead to Yakushima. Oh, yeah, that's coming up soon, isn't it? Are you ready? I guess I should start getting ready, too. I guess I should be more enthusiastic, huh? Hey. I don't have practice today, so do you want to do something? What do you say? Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. As if. All right, give me a sec. I'm going to go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka, too. Uh, hey, um, uh, I'm sorry about the way I've been acting. I was just in a bad mood, and I took it all out on you. I know it wasn't too cool of me. All right. Thanks. Let's go back to how things used to be between us, okay? All right. Let's get going. Woohoo! Freedom at last! What should I do now? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll think of something. Hell yeah, I will. Hey, what are you doing here, Akihiko-san? Ikutsuki-san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new candidate. Does that mean another person is going to join? Maybe. Oh, is it gonna be another girl? How should I know? Fuka! What's wrong, Natsuki-chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one... Oh, you're going back to your home home today, huh? Okay. Then never mind. Hey, wait! It's alright. Let's go. 
Sorry, I'll see you all later back at the dorm. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, oh, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. Mr. Chairman! Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi, Cancun. What's up? You know him? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about his parents. It was only me and my mom, but she got in an accident and she... she died. It happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But staying at the elementary school dorm all by himself isn't proper for a child his age. So, I decided to move him to your dorm for the summer. To our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. Then he's the new candidate? Yes, but as you can see, he's still just an elementary school student. So it is merely a possibility for now. Uh... Are you... Sonata Senpai? Um, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You haven't lost a boxing match yet. It's a real honor to meet you. Yeah, well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Awesome! There it is! Yakushi! Wow, so many tropical plants. <laughs> Take a look at that one. <sighs> hmm. Um. It's totally amazing, huh? Man, this is so awesome! I'm not even kidding! Junpei-kun. 
<laughs> wow! It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Welcome, Welcome back, back lady. We won't be here long, but I'll be relying on you during our stay. You have maids? And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo Vacation Home. Please follow me. Um, is this the right place? Dude, real life maids. I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely confirms it. Hmm. It's good to see you. Oh, he left. Was that her father? Dude, talk about scary. He's not gonna make us walk the plank, is he? Don't be stupid. <laughs> we won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet, this is gonna rock. Hey, you wanna go to the beach? It's right there. Dude, this place rules. Come on, let's go. What, already? I mean, sure, but let me get changed first. <laughs> then I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. Got my sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. Yep, summer's here. Ugh, can you be any louder? But yikes, what's with Akihiko Senpai's swimsuit? I can feel my face getting red just looking at it. Yo, about time you guys got here. Hmm? Something wrong, Yukari? That's a uh, pretty small swimsuit. What? Don't you know? Swimsuits like this reduce water resistance and... Oh, that's okay. It doesn't need to be justified. <laughs> hey, Junpei, what's the matter? You look even dumber than usual. Man, talk about a feast for the eyes. <laughs> Yucatan's wearing a more aggressive model than I had imagined. Could her boldness come from the confidence that her club training has toned her bod? What? And check out our leader. She's one cute mermaid herself. Those curves she usually keeps covered are looking good. I can't tear my eyes away. <laughs> the beach is so great. I love this place. Is that umbrella taken? Oh, and here we have the lovely Miss Yamagishi. Wow, Fuka. I had no idea you were so... I mean... You should wear a swimsuit more often. Huh? Oh, oh come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Stop that creepy laugh, you perv. And here's our final contestant. Hmm? Is something wrong? Wow. Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. Yeah, your skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? No, not yet. Eco senpai level with me. Which one's your type? <laughs> huh? Really? K keep your voice down. Man, really? No joke? What are you two smirking about? Uh, nothing. Okay. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. How about a swim? Ba 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 ba! Charge! Whoa! I'm not letting you win that easy. Whoa! It's cold. <laughs>
been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Kurijo family separated from the Nanjo group. <laughs> you must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, Father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Everything? There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine. If you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident. Recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time, a very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So that means my dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! Takiba! <sighs> um, shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Please, go after her. Thank you. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much.
Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared. But I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? <laughs> Stop acting like you have all the answers. <laughs> I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me. What should I do? I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents too. But... I'm alright now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Thanks. Sheesh, what's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Sheesh, it's just common sense. Even I remembered. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. The air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. <sighs> oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? Oh, yeah. Mitsuru speaking. One moment, let me switch over to speakerphone. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta let the others know. Where's my cell? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, where could they be? Huh? 
Are the girls not up yet? Man, what lazy bones. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know. You're right. Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. Is that what you're worried about? That reminds me. One of the maids gave me a letter as we were leaving. Well, hey, Junpei! Ah, no buts! I ain't letting any love letters from a lovely maid slip through my fingers. Oh, how dumb can you get? Ah, let's see here. This says we've gone to see the Joman cedar tree. Huh? It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. Babe Hunt? You mean like pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. Nah, I'll pass. Oh, scared you're gonna lose? What? Hey, I'm not judging you. Most guys would rather back down than lose. All right, we're doing this. Okay, with Mitsuru and our leader gone, I'm in command. Huh? The loser buys dinner at Hagakure when we get back home. Commence the operation. Loser? What do you mean, loser? Wait, we're gonna go hit on him separately? <laughs> Hi there, miss. Wanna hang out? Oh, I see. You're here with your boyfriend. Hey there! Say, do you know the most efficient swimming technique? The butterfly stroke uses your leg strength to... Oh, I... I see. <clears throat> Need someone to rub sunblock on your hard-to-reach areas? Oh, don't worry. I'm really good at it. <laughs> uh, you're trying to get a tan? I'm in the way? Oh, excuse me then. All right, Junpei, what's going on here? What do you mean? That indirect approach of yours isn't gonna help you score. What? So you're saying I should use cheesy come-ons like yours? Honesty is the best policy. I mean, who wants to listen to a guy drone about muscles and... <laughs> what's up? You see something? Talk about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, she's cute. I agree. This is our last chance to make up for failures. All right, here I go. Hey. Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. So, um, do you come here often? My name's J J J Junpei. Ju Ju Junpei? Oh, don't worry, I I just want to talk. I mean, I mean it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. Uh, oh yeah? You are not the one. Wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. <sighs> She's a tough one, senpai. <laughs> don't worry about me. Well, hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Is your question directed at me? Oh, uh, well, yeah. I, I like the ocean, too. Hey, I heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Makes sense, doesn't it? That type of information is irrelevant to me. <laughs> I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. <laughs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. <gasps> you look surprised for some reason. What's she looking at? Hmm. Uh, she took off. It wasn't because of us, was it? Who knows? Wait, she's heading into the forest. Isn't it dangerous for a skinny girl like her to wander around all alone in there? Why? You think there might be bears or something? I... I don't know about that, but... We should go after her. 